Now to the case against a man accused of circumcising other men without a doctor's license to do so. Tonight he's out on bond, but also facing serious charges. He's also talking with 24 Hour News 8's Leon Hendricks, as is one of his alleged victims. Blue shutters, an American flag out front. Inside the house, allegedly dubbed a bootleg doctor's office, this man, Tom Hugel. And just miles away, one of the men he's accused of tricking, then circumcising. It was his idea. My idea was no. And he convinced me with his idea. A 21 year old man with a mental disability was one of the victims' court docs show. Says he met Tom Hugel through a mutual friend. Shortly thereafter, Hugel asked to see him naked, he says. He complied. Then Hugel, he says, wanted to circumcise him. And Mr. Hurt Hugel or, or whoever told me that he had medication and surgery that needed to be done. Inside the home, enough to convince him that Hugel was legit. He had needles on one shelf, pretty much looking like a doctor's office. He and was convinced he needed the surgery. But if I went to the doctor, it cost me more. So he, he did it for me for nothing. For no money, but surely not free. He didn't give me medication for the pain. Hugo was arrested, charged, but bonded out for five grand. I don't like him being out on the streets. I don't know what he's doing. I spoke with Tom here at his home in Sparta. He wouldn't talk on camera, wouldn't confirm or deny the charges against him. He would only say that he didn't take advantage of this victim and never meant to hurt anyone. This is a crime with true victims in the sense of picking on the weak, picking on the mentally disabled. Says the victim's former foster mom, who's among those that are hoping Hugo pays for what he's accused of. Leon Hendricks, 24 Hour News 8. Thanks, Leon. The victim in that story says after he healed, Hugo said the circumcision wasn't done properly and needed to be done again, and it was. The family of the victim says they want to know how many other victims there are. According to Tom Hugo, there is more than one. When we told him we spoke to a victim, he asked which one.